Libra, welcome. It's Jeff here at Raise Your Vibration TV, and that means it's time for your weekly tarot reading. This is going to be for April 15th all the way to April 21st, so welcome. So, we've got that eclipse hangover energy coming. How's that affecting you? Hope everything is well. Hope everything is going good. That energy can be jarring. It can be transformative also. It just takes some time to kind of let the dust settle after the event. You know what I mean? So let's get the vibe for this week and see how you're going to handle that and what's available to you and whatnot, you know? Getting some inner guidance. All right, where'd those cards go? Hold on one second. Okay. All right. What do we got here? All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And where's that going? I think this goes in the middle. Boom. There it is. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. So here's what we got going on for you this week. All right, Libra. First of all, you see how it's divided into three parts. All right. So we've got things that we need to work on, what we need to apply, what we need to kind of go with the flow with what's available to us. The middle card is what we definitely need to embrace during this period. And then these cards are showing the outcome on how the week's going to go. So let's start over here. The Four of Cups shows us that we're not in the right vibration in order for us to move forward in the things that we need, okay? The Six of Swords shows that you are definitely moving out of stormy waters, but it takes a mental attitude to kind of snap yourself out of this kind of brat energy where it's just like, you know, I don't have what I want yet. I mean, look at that person just looks totally defeated. But all is not lost. It, it's a mental attitude. The King of Pentacles shows that you need to be feet on the ground, practical approach, looking at things black and white. And it also shows using a lot of maturity too. So this is an energy that you got to step up because this the whole definition for the week is the Empress energy where we are in a line and feel good about ourselves because we really can't get anything four of cups energy if we're not feeling worthy of it. And this definitely is something that happened around the full moon right before Easter. So now this is kind of coming to light and what you need to do with this Empress energy is know that you are worthy of better things. It's, it's, it's coming to the realization that you're not a victim. That's a big thing right there. You know what I mean? You attract these energies into your life. So feeling with the empress energy, it's like I said, it's not, it's not female or male. It's a, it's a, it's a feeling, it's a belief and you got to be in it. Mind, body, and spirit. Again, the page of pentacles is showing with practical feet on the ground approach. You've got the solutions Seven of Wands is showing to protect your energy. This is solar plexus energy. You see how the solar plexus is lit up? That is, I can do this. I can move forward. Ace of Wands is showing a new beginning. That spark is reignited once we raise our vibration here. All right? So it seems like for air signs, it's all about raising your vibration to get exactly what you want and feeling the confidence that you can do this because it is a very practical feet on the ground approach. There's no in your head about this. You know, you've got to have your heart, body, and mind all working in unison together. That takes a little bit of discipline, but again, it's showing you practical approach. All right. So what else can we add to this? Damn. Damn. Well, the justice card came out, of course. That's your card. All right, how do I do this? 
All right, Eight of Cups, walking away from something that no longer serves you. You don't need to go in this feeling like you've been robbed of anything or you're robbing anybody from anything. You're not. And actually, this card shows that you kind of need to be strategic. Again, feet on the ground approach. All you have to do is focus on balance. That Empress energy, again, is focusing on balance. If you look at imbalance, you're going to experience more imbalance. It's that easy. Energy flows where attention goes. Knight of Swords is a communication coming your way and reciprocating energy. This is a give and take. This is this is good energy. This is you getting the help that you need. You know, things balance out. You see how they got the scales there in both those cards? And then this, the Magician and the Chariot, is success. I mean, this is a new beginning. We just have to get out of this. I don't know. I, th I think for a lot of Libras, it's like a victim mentality. Why me? You know why. You know what I mean? You manifested that, good or bad. That's a jagged pill to swallow, but it's the truth. And taking responsibility for it and moving forward confidently, shit. All right. What do we got? With the oracles. Damn, this is pretty, pretty good. All right. Emotional loss. You got to work on that. Release that emotional loss. Let it go. Base chakra is showing I am secure. Feet on the ground. I've got this. Rest and rejuvenate. It's time for some healing. Give yourself that time. You know what I mean? But be practical about it. Be practical about it. The Empress card is out again, reinforcing this energy, that three energy that's growth. It may not look like growth right now, but it is. What you got to do is have hope. A lot of you have to hold on to that. Faith and hope. A waiting game. So some of you, this is divine timing. So it's all in how you perceive it. Is it coming to you fast or is it coming slow? If it's coming slow, that means it's not in your life. If you know that it's coming to you and you deserve it, well, then there it goes. It shows up. And the destiny card. Yeah, the magician, the destiny, the chariot. There's some heavy, good energy. It's just you letting go of these emotional wounds. It's the thing that slows you down. There's like a lot of shoulda, woulda, coulda energy here. And that's that's just that's just not sound logic. You know what I mean? And you can be very logical. Look at that. Sadness and isolation. So pay attention to 333. That's growth. Much growth will come out of this week. Look at that. Healing begins. Again, balance, finding balance, and love. Another six. That's balance. So pay attention to 666. That is a focus on balance for you this week. Who, who would have thought? <sighs> wow. All right, but there is a very good opportunity here to walk away from things that no longer serve you, and, and you'll feel so much better. It's a new you, you know? It's, you just have to be patient with your process. You know, all this earth energy is present in your reading because you've got to be practical about it. All right, let's see what we got for love. What do we got for love for Libra? Nice. The Fool card. Oh, my God, look at that. Oh, wow. All right, yeah, the Tower. Okay, so the sky is falling. That's a perception. What you need to do is the Ace of Swords is showing new way of thinking. After some healing, you'll look at this as something that needed to happen and not something that shouldn't have happened. It was necessary. Ace of Pentacles, an offer is going to be made. Again, lots of offers coming in here. And look at that, the Fool, a new beginning. Just don't be a fool about things, you know? Don't play it the way you always did because this emotional... Sadness and isolation has to be dealt with and healed before you can move forward or else you will portray yourself as the fool. You know what I mean? So 
It's knowing the risks that you're taking and going through them confidently, especially when it comes to relationships. Some relationships could have ended that has got you in this emotional upset, but it looks like an apology here, an offer, a new way of looking at your relationships. It's starting a new cycle. There's no doubt about that. It's just all in divine timing. All right, let's get some messages of love. For some of you, different pages. You and this person don't share the same vision. Okay, so don't get your fucking panties in a bunch. You know, talk about it. Look at it from a different perspective. Time apart. Some distance will help bring clarity. Maybe because you're on different pages, some time apart will bring some clarity because it shows great energy here for the outcome. So it's not all doom and gloom. So you don't know what's going to happen yet, and that's okay. Patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing. That's a big message. There's a bigger machine at work here, and you're a cog. So accept that and kind of move with that. Because if you fight it, it's going to jar the whole system. You know what I mean? All right, let's get some closing messages. Hmm. It's all right. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. Protect. That seven of wands is coming up. You're, Libra, you're being asked to protect yourself and your energy. It's okay to want to give to others what you do effortlessly. It's important, though, that you set healthy boundaries with your energy before doing so. Now is the time to get some protection in place. Listen, if you guys are on the different pages, accept that. Protect yourself. Don't lower the bar to somebody else. You know, you should rise together to the occasion. But I think some time apart and just knowing that this too shall pass will bring really good energy into your life. All right, let's get one more closing message from these tiny cards. What do we got for Libra to close it out for the week? What do we got? Boom. <laughs> Fuck yes, I am. That's right. That's that whole Empress energy. That is feeling... That's right. I am successful. I am worthy. I am good enough. Fuck yes, I am. That's your mantra for the week, Libra. All right. That's going to do it for this week. Thank you so much. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And hit. I go ahead and type I claim it in the comments. Blah, 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 blah. And I will see you next week.